Breaking news emails get breaking news alerts and special reports. The news and stories that matter, delivered weekday mornings. Subscribe May 17, 2019. 101 p.m. at Birigo Berdo Gonzalez Whether you're headed to the beach or the park or simply enjoying a warm summer evening at home, don't forget to reach for a good book. I never think of reading as an escape from reality. Rather, I see it as an opportunity to look back at the world we live in through an entirely different point of view. Writers imagine, and then ask us to imagine with them. Who could resist such an invitation? Below are 10 books by Latino authors that are sure to take you on 10 quite distinct and unforgettable journeys. 1. Elizabeth Acevedo, With the Fire on High, Harper Teen The author of the multiple award-winning book The Poet X, 2018, is back with a second powerful story set in Philadelphia featuring another strong Dominican woman. Amani Santiago is a young mother learning to navigate adulthood with her role as a caretaker as she prepares to leave high school. She's resourceful and responsible, but her daughter and grandmother are dependent on her, which presents challenges to her dreams of attending culinary school. But she still has a talent for cooking, and that's the magic that's going to get her through some tough decisions, a few mistakes and unexpected opportunities she didn't know were possible. Teenage Motherhood she learns, doesn't have to be an obstacle. With the Fire on High is yet another incredible portrait of womanhood by a truly gifted writer. The author of the multiple award-winning book The Poet X, 2018, is back with a second powerful story set in Philadelphia featuring another strong Dominican woman. Courtesy of Harper Teen 2. Norma Cantu, Caban Huelos, a novel. University of New Mexico Press author of the Chicano classic Canicula, Snapshots of a Girlhood and La Frontera, 1997, Cantu takes a similar snapshot narrative approach in this long-awaited sequel. This time, the collision and collaboration of worlds is not on the U.S. Mexico border but in Spain, as Nana, a young scholar, sets out to research the roots of Laredo, Texas, history in Madrid. There. She is smitten by Paco, a young Spaniard who becomes her anchor as her findings pull her back to her beloved home through the pangs of memory and nostalgia. Not only does Nana enrich her understanding of Laredo's colonial past, she witnesses the resilience of culture, religion and folklore that survive despite conflict and oppressive governments.